Coach, what a turnout tonight for the spring practice. I mean, you look around and you, you really see the Tennessee Tech football family out here tonight. Well, this is what it was all about. You know, we said from day one we wanted some people to really enjoy being Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles and try to get some old players back and our current players, you know, to really enjoy playing football. And uh, with all the weather elements we battled here this spring, having to be inside and rain and frost and snow and our track being redone, uh, to have a night like this to finish off spring practice was very special. This was, we couldn't beat tonight. The weather was great. The turnout was great. The community support, a ton of former players, guys from the back to the 1950s, 60s, 70s, about every era of Tech football was here tonight, so very special night. And that was probably one of the coolest moments of the night when you guys were having your post uh, scrimmage title and the Tech football alumni come out and was surrounding the team like they were still part of the team. And they all they are still part no, of the well, team. Well, they are part of the team. I, you know, I told our guys when we dressed and we were in the locker room before we came out for the scrimmage and walked over here, I said, man, there's been a lot of great men that have graced in this same locker room. You know, that's one thing special about Tennessee Tech. You know, we've been you know, we've been playing football since 1922. We've had a lot of special football players come through this program. I said a lot of guys have stood right in this locker room. There's people that you don't even know that get up every day and follow you, you know, and check what happened to Tennessee Tech football. And so these guys were excited to be back tonight. And I said, you're always representing those guys. And I think it really made our guys feel good. And you can see the smile on their face and the appreciation of it. And I'm appreciative of all those guys that came back. Scrimmage tonight, a lot of great action on both sides of the ball. Yes, it was. I thought uh, offensively got off to a really good start early, made a couple nice runs, some big plays in the run game. I thought our quarterback's decision making tonight was very good. They made some nice plays even in the run game when to pull the ball or hand the ball. Thought they did some nice things. Last week's scrimmage at MTSU, you know, we had a lot of procedural things, uh, illegal formations, uh, you know, some bad snaps, uh, some things of that nature. That was really cleaned up tonight. Uh, offensively, you know, we had a couple of injuries, so we're a little thin in a couple of spots, but overall I was pleased with, thought we made some nice plays. And then I thought the defense settled in and made some nice stops and had a couple of three and out stops there and did some nice things. So, you know, overall I thought both sides were very competitive and, you know, we got a lot of good work here tonight. And one of the bright spots is, as you, as you said, about hasn't really had a whole lot of time to be out on the field. Weren't really a lot of procedure penalties. No, there wasn't. There wasn't. Like I said, that was cleaned up a lot. That was a big point of emphasis this week at practice on Tuesday and Thursday is, look, let's go back. We putting a lot of stuff in now let's go back to the the basics so to speak let's yeah. make sure that we block good we tackle well we line up well communicate tuesday's practice i heard uh, coach lamb our offensive coordinator uh, coach suber our defensive coordinator and about every coach talking about communicate talk communicate make sure we're all on the same page what we're doing out there and uh saw it was that was a big improvement from last week to this week how would you grade the spring practice as a whole as a whole, really, you know, I had to give different categories for that. I mean, I think as a whole, you know, I, I hate to give it a grade. You know, I certainly would give it an A as far as things I wanted to get out of it, as far as relationship with players and coaches and trying to get everybody to kind of buy in what we're doing. I feel really good about that right now. I mean, I do. I feel good about where our players are at with that. I feel good about where our coaches are at with that. Uh, you know, our staff has really enjoyed. I knew we would enjoy working together when we kind of got the staff put together. But it's actually has been better than I thought it would be. I'll be honest with you, it's been fantastic. We've got a staff that really enjoys uh, working together. I think our players can sense that. I've been really pleased with how our players have taken on uh, some responsibility and, and done some good things. They're starting to do some things more consistently, and it's been good to see that. So that part I would give an A. You know, it's hard to give the football part of it. Uh, it's hard to say just because we did not get all of our practices in that we'd like to give. But we're not ever going to in this program now. We don't make excuses that's part of, of playing college football you know it's unique we don't get a three game series or a five game series or a seven game series or home and away hey we'll catch them in the tournament there's none of that you get a chance to play them one time whether it's home away lightning delay rain cold whatever the elements are that's your one time to play that team and so whenever you play them you better be ready to play you better be ready to get off the bus and go play come out of the locker room and go play and that's kind of been our mentality for the uh, for this spring i've been very pleased uh with our guys you know as far as that goes and i've been really pleased besides just spring football practice i think we've made some nice gains in the weight room we really we've been we're going to have 50 weightlifting sessions after we finish up this spring, so we've been in the weight room, you know, very consistently, and our strength staff has done a nice job with our guys. Three and a half months before uh, uh, fall camp starts up, 
I mean, that sounds like a long time away, but it's really not. Oh, it don't sound like a long time to me. It doesn't seem long <laughs> enough. It'll get here before you know it. But, uh, you know, a lot of work by our staff to do this week in evaluating this team. We now can sit down, really assess spring, where each individual player is at, kind of what we're going to, moving forward, what we need to do as far as recruiting. We're going to hit the road hard recruiting here in the month of May, April and May, and get out there in this evaluation process. Uh, a lot of camps and stuff going on the early part of the summer. Then we'll get our team back in here in July. And then uh, we'll start fall camp around August 1st. And before you know it, we'll be going to Chattanooga. So uh, it'll go quickly. A lot of work to do by our players as far as conditioning and those type things. But uh, I think what I wanted was, so when it was over, I said, I said this early on when I met with our team, I want them to leave spring practice excited about being a Golden Eagle. And I think you can look around here tonight and see that these guys are truly excited about playing football here. And they're excited about coming back this fall. And that was a, that was a big goal of ours. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you guys back in August. Thank you.